are you feeling confused lost and don't know what to do about this vaccine i'm not getting any directions i'm not sure even if the direction that i'm getting if it's the right direction the sources that i'm reading i'm not even sure if it's right if it's trustworthy you're not alone there's many with you in that same boat so what do you do when you don't know what to do in that situation when you have when everything seems like a cloud and you want to do everything possible to remove that cloud you're reading everything out there and trying to make the right decision for you for your family for your children whoever it is that you want to make the right decision you know what i have good news for you there is help from above god is ready to help you come with me to james chapter 1 verse 5. i'm going to read esc version it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. God is ready to give you the wisdom. He's able, he's ready to take that cloud, the fog off of this whole concept of what do I do with this vaccine? How do I, do I take it or not take it? If you just ask him, God, give me the wisdom and he will give it to you generously. He's not going to just give you enough, just enough for you to be able to, you know, understand and then you have to be on your own. No, he's going to give you more than enough information, more than enough um, uh, understanding on this vaccine so that it's so clear. You know what? My path is clear. I know what I need to do. You know, that's what God does. So when you pray. God is good and ask him for wisdom. He's ready to give it to you generously. The second thing is he's also able to give you the right information. So when the information comes into you and you want to wonder, do I trust this information? Quick, um, quick understanding of how to get information and know if you're going to trust it. Any information on the vaccine, make sure it is not compromised or it is not, um, uh, it is it's not attached to any marketing uh, atta uh, benefit to it. So if you're going to get uh, information on the vaccine, look at the source. Is the source attached to, a, uh, uh, to the person who's going to benefit directly from it? We call it a uh, conflict of interest in the corporate world. And, and it's, it applies to anybody in the daily world as well. If you are looking at information, make sure it's unbiased information. It's not biased towards a profit that they're going to get. So if a doctor is telling you, oh, it's good for you, it's good for you, look at, make sure that the doctor is not benefiting directly from the sales of these vaccines. Or, if, uh, or and they might just, or as the doctor says strictly that this is good for you, right? So look at the information and I would say make educated decision based on the spirit of God who's leading you and the wisdom of God that he's promised you in his word. Because I know it can be confusing. It could be like, oh, you know, what do I do? I am not educated to make these decisions. I'm not a doctor to know the, what's in the vaccine is good or right. You know what? You can take small components of the vaccine and you can do the research. Now that we have lots of us have time in our hands and you can't say I'm so busy. No, you can set aside 15 minutes, half an hour, because this is your body. This body was given to you by God. It's the temple of God. So it's your responsibility to make the right decision, to make the decision the Spirit of God is, is going to tell you, lead you. As you pray and as you ask God, the Spirit of God will speak to you and guide you into all truth. And as he guides you to all truth, as you get that information, check if those information is correct. Is it aligned to your moral values? Is it aligned to the word of God? Is this taking this vaccine? Am I just going with a popular, popular notion or am I going against God or does God want me to take it? I know you, you probably were looking to me to tell you yes or no. No, you are responsible for your decision, my friends. So when you are dis responsible for your decisions, ask God for that wisdom and he give it to you and he will pour it out to you abundantly and you will be able to make the right decision. As I said before, just ensure that decision, the information that you read is not attached to uh, a person who's, who's going to increase their budget or has increased their bank account. Because when, when the advertisement or the marketing that's out there sometimes is it's strictly related to their budget or to their uh, self-interest then the information is biased so look for information that's not biased that's truly coming from person who cares about you and then make an educated decision because you have the wisdom to do that you know just before universities existed people were still able to make wise decisions people were able to get information and process it themselves they didn't needed a degree to back them up
You might not be a doctor, you might not be a scientist, you might not be a pharmacist, but you know what? You have the pharmacist and scientist living inside of you. Jesus Christ himself is the doctor that is inside of you. We have many scripture verses saying that God himself, he came and is the physician that is inside of us. So I encourage you today, my friends, don't be afraid of this vaccine. Don't be afraid of, uh, you know, what if I take it, oh, God's going to hate me. If I don't take it, God's not going to take me. No, let the Holy Spirit guide you on that truth because he loves you and he wants to guide you in everything. And the Holy Spirit is given to you to guide you to the truth and the truth will make you free. Amen to that. Uh, we love you guys and we want to be there and give you any information that we have on any topics you want. So share with us, let us know, comment to us and be blessed by this message. God loves you and we love you.